Hey guys, welcome to Math in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to be talking about completing the square in 60 seconds. So let's give it a shot here. Alright, completing the square is another way of factoring. Uh, there's some advantages and disadvantages there. We're not going to go into that right now. What we want to know is how do you do it. Okay, the first step for completing the square is getting it so the x's are alone. So first thing we're going to do is add that 3 over to the other side. So if we did that, we'd have 8x equals 3. The second step is always taking half of that x term, so half of that would be 4, and squaring it right there. So I'm going to bring down the rest of the stuff. So I took half of our 8, 4, then I squared it and left it right there. Now if you just toss 4 squared on one side, you also have to put it on the other side as well. So I'm going to add 4 squared over here as well. Alright, the easiest way to think of this from here is that the 8x is now gone, because we made the 4 out of it. X and the 4, you can put them together, and then just take the squares they both have and suck it outside. So put the square out there like that. So you see I took the X and the 4, suck the square outside. Then on this side, 3 plus 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. And there you go, you have now completed the square. So if that makes sense, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon for Math in 60 Seconds.